Today we are going to be creating a bag of grain that's going to be tearing apart and releasing more of a grain out of the bag. So we'll see how we can do that. I'm going to start off by taking a simple sphere. This will act as our bag and uh, you can scale it up as much as you want. I'm going to keep it right about here and uh, let's maybe increase the subdivision amount to maybe somewhere about 40. That's just a nice subdivision amount to get started with. All right. So once you're done with this, all you have to do is go to FX and we are going to make this object as our end cloth. Now before creating an end cloth, we have to understand how much particles we are going to be filling inside of this bag. So instead of creating end cloth, let's concentrate on the particle system. So I'm going to go to my end particle and I'm going to click on fill object. Before clicking on fill object, make sure you open its parameters to see what you're dealing with. Now at this point, whatever we do uh, filling the particles, we don't have much idea how much particle it's filling. So I'm going to turn on the X-ray mode by clicking on this icon. So I can see what's going inside of my sphere. I'm going to select my sphere and I'm going to hit a resolution of 20, with particle density value of 1 and I'm going to hit particle fill. And it's going to take some time uh, depending on your system. And uh, as you can see, it has calculated. Uh, the amount of numbers. I'm going to keep this a low amount of uh, resolution for the tutorial purpose. But let's see, I'm going to hide my sphere here just uh, so I can show you how much particle it has created. And here you will see it is showing our particle in our point view. So I'm going to click on my end particle. I'm going to quickly go to the shading here and switch this from point to sphere. And there you go. So as you can see, we have big spheres and a very few amount of spheres. Again, you can increase the amount of numbers you have here by simply uh, clicking on your resolution and then changing it to 30 or whatever you want. I've already created it. So you have to undo this and redo this again. So again, the more amount of particles you have, the more better look it's going to give you in this type of simulation. Uh, but I'm going to keep this low for the tutorial purpose. I think uh, 20 should be enough for this kind of purpose. Anyways, moving on. So the next thing that we have is creating uh, this particle inside of this bag. So if I play this, you'll notice that it's not colliding with our cloth here. So let's create this uh, into the end cloth. I'm going to go to my end cloth and create an end cloth. So once you have created that, you'll notice that they both are falling and they are colliding with each other. That's perfect. Now, since we don't have anything on our surface as a collider, the two things that you can do. The first thing is going to your nucleus and use plane as your collider ground. So if you play this, you'll have an invisible ground that will act as a collider. And here you'll notice it's working pretty nicely. Uh, the second thing, if you are going to be doing some kind of rendering after this, I will suggest that you take a plane that way you'll have a nice view of shading your BG. So I'm going to take this plane. This will be my collider. So I'm going to select my plane and let's call this floor and I'm going to select my sphere. Let's call this bag and uh, you can also name this as greens. That will be much helpful for you. So select your floor and uh, go to end cloth and passive collider and when we play this uh, there you go now there are a few things to keep in mind regarding this collision i'm gonna turn on the two-sided lighting and when you notice this there are some issues with our simulation as you can see here the first thing is obviously the particles are leaving the body and the second thing is the collision gap here from the sphere to the plane now to fix this, the first thing that we are going to be doing is go to the floor and we are going to select our collision thickness. Now this will determine how much collision thickness it's treating on our plane. So here if you will notice closely, you will see that our plane is pretty thin but the collision thickness is pretty large. Alright, so what you are going to do is uh, here you have thickness. So I am going to reduce this uh, to a reasonable amount. I think this should be good enough for our plane and I am going to do the same with my sphere as well. So I'm going to select my sphere and um, go to the end cloth and simply go to the collision and here you'll find that we have collision thickness as well. So make sure you're uh, not reducing it too much uh, that it starts to uh, behave weirdly. So by removing this or changing the values you'll start to see how much you're changing. So I'm going to keep this somewhere about 25 that seems like a reasonable number and I'm going to turn this off for both of them. Alright, so this is done. 
Now if I play this, oh, there you go, perfect collision. Now there are a few things that we have to solve regarding our bag. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start changing some values here. And uh, before changing this value, make sure that you uh, play your simulation and start to see where things are going wrong, right? For, for example, here that you can see the stretch resistance is a bit too low. So I'm going to make this somewhere about 40. There are a lot of different presets that you can choose as well if you want. If you want to just speed up the process, I'm going to take like maybe a t-shirt and let's see how that plays out. So let's see. No, not too good, not too bad. And from here again, you can take a solid rubber and uh, maybe a thick leather and I'm going to start playing this again. I guess this seems pretty good. I'm going to, I'm pretty happy with the overall result and uh, let's move on now here comes the second problem if you turn on your x-ray mode and if you play this you start to see that your particles that are inside are not exactly colliding and we have some particles leaving the body and we'll see how to fix that in a minute but the first main problem is that particles are not colliding with each other so let's see how we can do that so what i'm going to do is i'm going to turn off the x-ray mode and for uh, just for the demonstration to check if we are doing this right i'm gonna turn off the visibility of my bag here um, there you go and uh, so the next thing i'm gonna do is i'm gonna play this again so the particles are colliding with the plane but not with each other to fix this i'm gonna go to my greens and uh, let's go to collision and here you'll find self collide make sure you turn this on and once you play this again you'll see that it starts to collide with each other so there you go all right so we are halfway done with this overall simulation i'm just gonna reduce the particle size to maybe 0 0.08 instead of 0 0.91 and that should be good enough all right so let's go to our bag and um, where is our bag so let's turn on the visibility again i'm keeping the numbers pretty low of the subdivision but we are going to be increasing this in our final um, simulation when we are catching this all right so from here i think it's part uh, it's time to create the part where it's steering the cloth and the particles are coming out of the bag all right so we are halfway done so what i'm going to do is i'm going to select my bag and let's increase the subdivision to maybe somewhere about uh, let's make it 60 and 60 and uh, select your bag again and we have good amount of subdivision from here we are going to be creating that tearing part so for that I'm gonna simply uh, select my vertices mode select your bag go to vertices mode or you can also select your paintbrush here if you want to select uh, multiple points and if you want to reduce the brush size what you can do is simply hit B on your keyboard and reduce the size there you go so from here you can select uh, whatever you want all right so i'm gonna instead of this i'm gonna simply um, go to the edge mode so i select your bag go to edge mode and i'm gonna just select this center part from there to here and i think this should be good enough and this will be acting as a tearing part so from here i'm gonna go to my end constraint and here you'll find a constraint called tearable surface so i'm gonna click on that and you'll instantly find this guide that's showing us where the tearing is going to happen and from that uh, from there you'll have the functionality to create or control the glue amount how much strength it will require to break apart so i'm going to quickly uh, call this tear and let's start to play this but before playing i'm going to reduce my timeline to maybe somewhere about 150 by 150 and uh, i'm going to select my bag and simply go to end catch and let's create a nice catch all right so i've stopped the simulation and you'll find that we have some error here like for example there are some bad collisions going on and the tearing is not happening that nicely so the first thing i'm going to do is go to my claw shape and maybe uh, choose something else like maybe uh, a self 
Oh yeah, let's take a silk and uh, then we'll solve the green problem. So I'm gonna do one more catch here and replace. So here you'll find that the tearing is good, but the silk here is not working that nicely with our particles since the bag has been filled with a lot of particles. So in this kind of situation, you need to look at where your overall compression is going on and so what i'm going to do is choose something like maybe something different like maybe a solid rubber and uh, we'll see and here you'll find that the compression is set back to 20 which is uh, exactly what we want we don't want that much compression to be happening so let's recast this all right so it's pretty much too much thickness here so i'm going to keep reducing the numbers here all right so this is working pretty nicely for me at least we are getting the tearing part so what i'm going to do is i'm going to select one more edge here from here to right about here and this will be a terrible surface as well and the next thing to fix the overall problem, I'm going to select my nucleus and increase my sub-step to somewhere about 10. This will help with our overall collision problem. And uh, for the last part, I'm going to go to my grains here and reduce the particle size to maybe somewhere about 0 0.60. This should be good enough. And let's recast this. Alright, so you'll notice that the collision problem has been solved, but we have a tearing problem here. So to fix that, first I'm going to rename this to tier 2. To fix this, I'm going to reduce my glue strength to maybe like 0 0.05. And uh, let's reduce this to 0 0.5 as well. And let's recast this again. Alright, so here you'll see that we are getting nice tearing here, but still there are some work we need to do. So I'm going to select the tier 1 and I'm going to keep going lower and let's reduce the strength as well to 10. And for the glue strength, I'm going to go for somewhere about 0 0.030 and I'm going to do the same with here. I'm just going to keep this number high and let's maybe turn down the strength to maybe around 15. That should be good enough. Select your bag, go to end catch and an object. Alright, so there you go. I'm gonna make this 105. And so here you have this basic simulation of back tearing apart. And uh, there you go. So if you want more uh, tearing or quicker training, again you can go to tear and keep reducing the number here. As you can see, we are getting this tear which we were not getting before. And from here, you can uh, pretty much start diving into it and creating more out of it. Maybe select your bag and hit 3. Uh, make sure this is set to smooth. And then keep going from there. Again, you can start shading your bag here. Or maybe select a stand surface, give it a velvet shader. And again, you can select your green and add a new material, maybe like stand surface again. And uh, maybe making it a plastic material, totally up to you and uh, yeah so there you go so this is how you can pretty much create a bag of green that's tearing apart so this is a basic concept that you can take and start creating a lot of different stuff out of it so it totally depends on you so that's it for this one i hope you enjoyed this and i'll see you in the next video